hi guys before things get crazy i just want to introduce you to you know the third vlog in this series i am currently in my hotel room preparing to go meet the rest of the team yeah i just wanted to do a quick outfit of the day before i leave sandals trousers and a sensible top okay i'll add a necklace and um and probably style my hair differently all right anyway i'm late i have to leave now surprised the road going to Megang is very good like it's just so smooth I've not felt one pothole I don't know since we left Yaoundé so that's very good the Yaoundé phase of our trip is over on to the next one for some reason this morning I am extra cold even through this sweater I still feel cold I'm actually here just trying to clear some footage from my phone so that I can delete it because honestly since the beginning of this whole series i've just been capturing footage yeah i'm running out of space on my phone in order to continue vlogging i actually have to just try to um clear i'll try to sleep a bit now because i'm super sleepy if you can tell sleeping beauty Hi guys first stop on the tour we are at Akonolinga literally this bridge is over the Nyong River and Trudy pointed out something that I didn't even notice until she pointed it out the What's air that? here oh yeah, yeah the air, the air is, air so, is fresh. so fresh uh, it's so fresh I was and asking her does it not make you feel very proud to be from Cameroon like it's so beautiful it's so beautiful it is it actually is honestly and we're not just saying it the view I didn't understand like all of that just goes and goes and goes and goes mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is one place you just only come whenever you come to Cameroon. It's just, I can't get enough of it. I remember I told you guys earlier that it's like I was falling sick. <laughs> this air, this air has cured me. Hey, I am cured. Hey. <laughs> True this way. <laughs> that one, wow. Just the air, I'm telling you. Just okay. the air. I've never seen you so dramatic. No, hey. It's what you see. Hey. It's what you see. Like, what? I was getting sick, but just the air. Okay. Thank you and me. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so on to the next one. Trudy, are you ready to do your interview? I'm so ready. You're very ready. You stay ready. Oh, my goodness. Currently in Akonolinga, and we are going to g visit the chief. So basically, there must always be something on the throne. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. the throne can't be vacant. So I've just stopped somewhere for some breakfast. Yeah, because we left here one day without eating. We left, I mean, I had some few some snacks, but for the most part, we left here one day without eating. So we are still in Akonolinga. Yeah, just here. Guys, Trudy is so surprised that we eat snakes. Oh, let me not say we eat snakes, that people eat snakes. I'm sure. It's, How it's do you like. Eat snakes? <laughs> I thought everyone runs away when they see snakes. Zero. <laughs> no. I didn't think that people want snakes for food. Yeah, they look at the snake and they're like, oh, that would be tasty. Like, like I fish. Want that on my plate. Like fish. Oh. Spicy well. Oh my goodness. 
are you shocked like me drop a comment because me what yeah okay you know what i can't um, wait to go back to kenya and tell my dad in cameroon that it's going to be so shocked and in so many other places actually it's just i, I can't think of any other places but do you know what just um drop a comment with where you're from your country and then tell us whether or not you guys eat snakes i mean even if you in particular do not eat snakes because I, i've never eaten snake but at least i know that people eat snakes so yeah even if you don't eat snakes tell me if people eat snakes in your country so yeah breakfast is here I just learned that Mangang is Tenor's village. I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, Tenor. Tenor is one of uh, Cameroonian musicians. Yeah, he raps. He raps. So, Tenor, we are in your village. Hi, and Tenor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so on our way we stopped to buy to buy some snacks. Look at all the snacks. We're super hungry. Man, we are so hungry. Um, and she's making payment using MTN Momo. This is mobile money. This is interesting. And then um, goes through. It's good to know that you guys use mobile money as well here. Yeah, it's really convenient. Especially since we don't have cards. Okay. And carrying cash is sometimes problematic. Uh -huh. So and, and also change. We are on our way to the west now. Guys, back to back traveling. Trudy, is this the life that you're used to? Because I'm not used to this. Thank you too. Anyway, so make sure you subscribe. Oh, thank you. You heard her. Obviously, lots of beautiful cultural footage coming up. Stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. It's raining. Getting a tour of the palace of Batufan. The fall of the palace is Nankap. This is the height of the door. 
do mm. this time. So when you are in your house and you see the enemy coming from far, you see whether it is your enemy or not. When the enemy comes now, you just cut the head or he's obliged to bend, bend. To bend before entering into mm. the house. So with time now, we bring some modification and that's how you see that there are doors a little bit high. You're not supposed to know where oh, the wow. is. The night. My goodness. Quack, mm -hmm. where the new king will spend nine weeks and we have the, the lack cap where he will spend at least nine months because for him to come out from that place he will have given birth to a girl and a boy oh. until you give birth to a boy and a girl you cannot pass through this door and you pass here just once so it means that for every rain we break it yes. and then build it again yes. is being initiated they cover this to protect it from this mother's family here in africa and particularly in the grass field grass culture, the mother is the most important element of the family this is why they cover it meaning that if the family of the mother come and say how are you initiating our son without our permission they don't say no he's not sitting on the throne he just she just sat on some something like that yeah that is why they cover it right now There is a woman who did a lot for this palace. The king decided to do these uh, sculptures to honor the woman. And this is one of the palace in Cameroon where you will see that they really give that honor to the woman. To women. You must be very proud of your kingdom. Very proud. <laughs> very, very, very. And I have a Facebook group called Back before I share the name Back before and Proud. Mm. Yes. In on Facebook on your Facebook group for Batu Farm? Yes. Wow. We have the biggest sacred forest in the western region of Cameroon. Really? Oh, please 50 please hectares. Please. We call it Quorap. Quorap. Quorap in our native language. I am lost for words. I am bamboozled. I am dumbfounded because we've just had a tour of the Batufan Palace and I have never in my life seen a palace this beautiful. Anyway, you'll see for yourself. Everything is well thought out. Very architecturally sound very culturally sound very sustainable Ay, my goodness in every wow. palace here in the Bamileke kingdom you always see water
We have just checked into our hotel in Bafusam. It's actually quite late at night because we left Batufam around 7, 7.30 p.m. Right now, I'm just going to give you a room tour, or should I say a suite tour, because K International decided to lodge us in suites. Right there, that's the entrance door. And as you come in from the door, you have this full body mirror. Okay, so let's see what I look like. Feeling very blessed to be here. And then um, across from that, we have a couch. And one thing that you will notice about this hotel is how African, how Ankara, how Bamelike, all the fabrics are. The hotel is very modern and maintains a lot of culture. So that is a very nice thing about that. And then we also have a desk, a small tea station with a water heater. I think I'll have some tea tonight before I go to bed. Let's see what are the options. All right. Yeah, so this is what the hotel looks like from the outside. I think my room is here or here because I'm literally on one side of this pillar. So across from so across the room we have a balcony which I'm going to show you now. Most hotels I've stayed at actually don't have balconies that open. So I'm very happy that this one opens. This is my view from the hotel. Everything looks amazing. And then you have a view of Bafusam. That's the main road. And then, oh my goodness, this is the pillar I was telling you guys about. So from the outside, especially from far, this pillar looks amazing. And, and if you look at it very closely, you will notice that this, this is the dot pattern that has been painted on this pillar. So it's very traditional. Everything here represents the grassroots, which is where I'm from. So I'm from the grassroots, um, Bamenda is part of the grassland or grassroots, I don't know how it's called these days. Um, Bafusam is part of the grassroots. So this hotel is very much like home. 
So now we move on to the bedroom. It's a sliding door and behold, everything represents the grassroots. And it's very symbolic in terms of tradition, in terms of the part of Cameroon where we are. We are in the West region. We have some wall art. This cabinet. Some water, some mambo. I'm definitely going to eat this at some point. Another balcony for the bedroom, but I'm not going to open this because it's basically the same thing. So just to give you a 360 of the room, this is what it looks like. That is where we came from and then now we are going to go into the bathroom the bathroom is very modern and made with sustainable materials as you can see we have lots of wood it's beautiful it's gorgeous and we have a toilet here clean and then on the other side of the bathroom this is what we have. So this is the other side of the bathroom. We have another sink. And then we go, when you look below the sink, we have slippers, bathrobe, and lots of towels. Lots of towels. Or did they say towels? Lots of towels. And then we go on, we have this shower. So it is amazing. Like, wow. So once again, thanks to K International and thanks to MMTC Kenya for this tour of Cameroon, which has been just rich with culture. You guys have been watching the video, so I'm sure you can appreciate how cultural, how immersive it has been. So clearly they have lots of great things planned with respect to smart cities, introduction of new technologies, modernization in Cameroon and um, yeah I'm just excited to watch this project unfold to see how it turns out guys I'm not going to lie this bed is calling my name okay this bed is calling my name so yeah I'm just going to shower we're well, from a very long journey we left Yaoundé this morning went to Akonolinga from Akonolinga we went all the way to um, Mangang traveled all the way to Batu Farm and now we are in Bafusam, so a girl is tired. Okay, a girl is tired. Mm -hmm.